new journal and guide. Subscribe today. Um, as Ms. Outlaw indicated, uh, we have uh, uh, passed out uh, cards. Please uh, begin to fill out uh, those if you have questions or things of that nature. What we would like to do is to uh, have each of our panelists uh, give us an opening statement. Uh, and as uh, uh, it was indicated to us, we're so pleased to have Mr. Merrick Malone with us. Uh, the Robert Bob Group has been very influential in terms of helping urban governments uh, implement educational reform, economic development, community and neighborhood development, managing municipal budgets and finances, and also have helped many communities with effective contract negotiations. Uh, Mr. Malone has a very, very diverse background, having been the uh, deputy mayor in Washington, D.C., and has had responsibilities uh, related to community development as well as economic development. So, uh, Mr. Malone, if you could give us an opening statement, and we're certainly pleased to have you here this afternoon. Opening statement. Running for something. Running <laughs> from. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, I'm obviously uh, not Robert Bob. Um, I asked him why I had to do this. He said because his name is on the door. Uh, but um, I think one of the things that I can truthfully say is I have, uh, when you get old enough, you are able to see all of the things that have occurred in this, the theme of this particular uh, forum. I have seen the sins of the past. I've also seen and, and the things that should have been done, the mentality of we never saw a, uh, a surplus we didn't want to spend. We, uh, you know, we had a, a, a mentality back then. I actually worked for, I was one of Coleman Young's youngest department heads. And I can remember once telling him that what we ought to do with HUD looking at the uh, expenses was to give it back to the federal government. And it was really tied to, to uh, the bottom line. And, and, uh, and so I've also seen the sacrifices, but now having been a, a deputy mayor, a public servant, having been in the private sector now for the last 15 years, um, I've also seen what we need to do to get to, to really change the new dynamic. Because if we don't, these budget cuts and the things that have impacted, will, they will have enormous impacts, negative impacts on us, uh, on cities, on municipalities. What we do at Robert Bob now is we do restructuring of municipalities, public institutions. I mean, who thought when I started out on this road that you would see municipalities like Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and others on the verge of chapter of bankruptcy? Uh, that, though, that's the new reality. And what the private sector has had to do is, to, is the same kind of thing that we're going to have to do in the government. We have to shift the paradigm. We have a new, it's a new world order. And there is a bottom line. There is a, there is a true bottom line. And we have to look at those things. We're, and not just cutting around the edge. You're talking about restructuring, re-engineering. It requires a new set of skills. And obviously, that's difficult. And obviously, it's difficult in, in government. Because one of the things is there was a culture, a mentality, a government. There is public sector mentality. And as you know, culture will eat strategy for breakfast. I don't care how good the strategy is. The culture is. The way it is, it, it eats it up. So I'm glad to be here. I've seen the, the, the like I said, when you get old enough, you, you see it all. And so it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. But this is an exciting time. If you look at what corporations have done and why there are a lot of them sitting on so much cash, because they have taken the downturn and, and restructured themselves to be able to take advantage of what Rom says, is never, never not take advantage of a crisis. And so I think. We in the public sector are going to have to start looking at that the same kind of mentality. Thanks. This production has been brought to you by Image Entertainment.